<laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, some of you might remember this thing. So this is the board that I put with the sea sucker mounts and I was able to put these in the van when I had the van um, and that worked really well. But now I have the Tacoma so I need to figure out how I'm going to mount bikes on this thing. So, what I did is I got this bed rail for right behind the cab. So if we come look at the Tacoma, <clears throat> I don't want to lean this up against my truck, so I'm going to set it down. If we come look at the Tacoma, you can see that it comes with uh, rails on the sides, but it doesn't come with a rail back here so here is no rail on the truck so basically there's let's see if i can get back there let me move these there's basically these uh hex screws there's five of them and you basically take those out which i'm assuming is going to loosen this whole piece and then when this these come out i will be able to put this right in there so that's the next project is getting the rail installed and then once the rail is installed i have all these mounts from rocky mounts so let's see which ones I got here. This one is for all these different types of axles. So we got 12 by 100, 15 by 100, and 15 by 110. So that's gonna be boost. So that's gonna be like my rib moa, um, low side, things like that. Um, and then I did get one. I don't know if it's in this box. So I got two of these. Yep, because I probably run two bikes sometimes. These are the little uh, deals that help lock it into the rail. And here's the different sleeves. So I actually got a couple of additional sleeves to fit my fat bike and that was they didn't they don't come with you have to order them extra but it will fit in here because a fat bike is 150 by 15 or at least mine are and so um in the winter time i'm gonna want to mount my fat bike in the bed and that and i haven't opened this box so let me open this box and then we'll see what's in there Okay, so I opened this box and you can see by the picture that this is going to be for a normal axle. So this is where my dirt jump bike will fit. A hundred millimeter um, standard width fork. And so my road bike, dirt jumper, probably my BMX bikes even will fit in this mount. So I just got one of those for now because I generally won't be taking two... Uh, dirt jump bikes or two um, 
And if I do actually take a friend that has a dirt jump bike, that person is likely going to have a fork on it. So, a uh, suspension fork, sorry. I run a rigid fork, so this will fit my rigid fork, and one of these mounts will likely fit their suspension fork, because there's not a lot of people out there that have DJ bikes that don't have a suspension fork. I'm an oddity in that one. So, that's my next project, and I'll go ahead and get it all installed on here. And once I have it all installed, um, I will show you the bikes mounted in here. I already know I'm gonna have one issue, mostly with my Ripmo, is this is a five foot bed, so it's a short bed. And I think the Ripmo is gonna be too long to be mounted and then not hit the tailgate. But one of the reasons why I don't wanna open the tailgate and have my bikes in there is because I really like having a camera <laughs> And so if I open the tailgate, look what happens to the camera. So I will have to figure out something. I'll, once I get the Ripmo in here, uh, I'm sure the tire will rest up here, but it might not be very stable. So maybe I'll figure out a way to, there's obviously a slot here and over there. Maybe I can mount something so the tire rests on there and it rests a little higher and then the tire will clear or something so that's just going to be something i'll figure out on the fly kind of like i usually do um but i'm pretty excited about this and being able to haul my bikes in the back of my new truck so um i will definitely show you the finished product once i get everything installed <laughs> thanks for watching